the CCF by the 1950s, and particularly in 1958 when Diefenbaker won his landslide, the CCF was among the victims. So was the Liberal Party, but the CCF lost most of its ablest members. Somebody once rudely said that if Diefenbaker had the CCF seats to choose, he would have chosen those eight members. Uh, but that was pretty devastating. Something had to happen. They would tried a new program called the Winnipeg Manifesto, which was sort of the Regina Manifesto with all the difficult parts left out. That hadn't worked. In fact, people thought it was, the, the real party faithful thought it was a bit of a betrayal, uh, but people who didn't like the left at all were not qualified by the Winnipeg Declaration. Something bigger was needed or the party would wither and die. And that idea was to create, out of the CCF, out of its continually good relations with the Canadian Labour Congress, and out of a new party movement of people who know politics at all, but who wanted a change, who didn't like Diefenbaker's government, didn't want more of the Liberals, were to be invited to join a new party 